today we introduce you to the Star Destroyer of Lenses, the Zeiss Biota R 100mm f0.73. It dwarfs even very fast lenses like the SLR Magic 25mm t0.95 and has a huge front element that seems to bend space-time when you look through it. It weights a hefty 5.8 kg, so if you're not running a full-fledged Alexa, you are going to mount the camera to the lens and not the other way around. The lens is designed to fit specifically into its environment. There's no iris, as these lenses are supposed to operate at maximum aperture. There are no moving elements for focusing and there's no mount in the conventional sense. The backside is just a flat piece of glass, but don't be misled. This is not some kind of protection glass, but the back of a massive Plano convex lens that again is part of a doublet. It was built in 1964 around the same time as the NASA Planar. As an industrial lens with limited practical applications you can buy them for somewhat reasonable prices and eBay has listings at about $500 at this time. The ground glass from a large format camera makes the lens protection visible and the brightness is very promising. Changing the distance of objects reveals the focal plane that the lens generates for the given focal flange between the ground glass and the rear lens element. When we alter the flange, we can demonstrate how we are going to focus the lens. When we increase the flange, we can focus on objects that are very close. When we reduce the flange, we can focus on objects further away. The candles are about 3 meters away. And here you can see that focusing to 3 meters already requires a flange distance of something like 10 millimeters, rendering any traditional mount or helicoid useless. The ground glass also allows us to demonstrate the coverage. This is 4x5 large format. This is IMAX and we see that it is covered. All smaller formats are subsequently covered. To put it in perspective, this is full frame, this is 4 perforation super 35 and this is micro for third. The R in the name indicates that the Biota is a so-called X-ray lens. The R stems from the German word for X-ray, Röntgenstrahlung. The Wikipedia list of fast lenses has a section for X-ray lenses and you will find that the Biota is the fastest of these lenses. Now we attach the whole unit to a rig and voila! A system that can focus from close to infinity and is as practical as it gets with this monstrosity. While it is heavy and the depth of field is non-existent, we will still do some handheld work with it, because we are just us. After getting through all of this, it's time to show you what we got. This is the mission, shot completely in candlelight at f0.7 and ISO 800. Storms make you glow to the 